Tyler here with GP Knives, and we're back again for the Week 30 Weekly Update. We're starting this week out with the last in the line of Fox Knives Core Flippers, designed by Danish custom knife maker Jesper Voxnes. It's got a blade of N690 with a high-height saber grind, stonewash finish, nice thick stock on here. You've got blue FRN and an orange anodized aluminum backspacer, this being the brightest colorway of the bunch. Stainless steel wire clip that is reversible, steel liner lock construction, and a ceramic ball bearing pivot for smooth operation. And we'll quickly take a look at it with the Spyderco Para 3 for a quick size comparison. Similar overall length, a little bit longer in the blade, Similar blade thickness, maybe just a little thicker on the core, but of course a much more robust tip on there. And this is going to transition us nicely into the Viper Knives Orso. And this is designed by Danish custom knife maker Ian Sanso. And they work collaboratively often on different designs. We've got a blade of Buller's M390 and a nice stonewash finish. About a full height flat grind. You got a crowned spine. You can see it does taper to the tip, but still leaves a fairly robust tip there. G10 handle scales on this one. You can see some slight milling in there. More of just a visual appeal. Blue anodized pivot collar. Matching titanium backspacer with Anso style lanyard loop and titanium 3d machined pocket clip also in that blue and this is a single liner construction so a very lightweight bearing pivot as you can see fast and smooth for the deployment we'll bring in the paramilitary 2 so similar overall length there a little bit longer in the cutting edge length but a similar overall blade length Blade thickness is going to be fairly similar, but again, a more robust tip. And then handle thickness is going to be similar, as is the functional grip area. And we have sold through some of the variations of the Orso, but we do have the Black G10, the full titanium with a stonewash finish, and then the OD Green G10. And that's a good segue to bring in the OD Green or so in a hitch and timber big runt EDC slip. So this is one of their larger sizes. It's got a full size pin carrier on the outside and it does carry a full size knife like the Orso or a paramilitary two or para three. You got a brass grommet. The interior is backlined with this repurposed military canvas with the hitch and timber traditional snake logo printed on it high quality four ounce leather hand stitched and burnished and just overall a great edc organizer and we'll just take a quick look at the green or so here really the only difference here is going to be in the handle color and then the pivot collar backspacer and pocket clip are all just plain great titanium and then we also have another hitch and timber organizer here. And this one has a slip for a small knife like the Rhodey or a Victor Knox Cadet, a pin or a small EDC light, and then a card holder on the back here. Same canvas backing. We have a bunch of different hitch and timber varieties as far as EDC organizers. And those are all up on the site now. And also new is the Rake brand. This is the model P831SF, a stainless steel frame lock Warncliffe. We've got a blade of Sandvik 14C28N for a high level of corrosion resistance, good edge retention and sharpening response, and a very fine cutting edge. Tapers to a fine point for detail work, but is still plenty robust through the primary length of the blade for everyday cutting tasks. Full flat grind means it's going to slice very well. 
rides on a dual washer pivot. That's phosphor bronze and nylon. And as you can see, it deploys fast and smooth via that thumb stud. You've got stepped contoured handles, full stainless steel construction. You got a nice media blast finish with a light tumble. Stainless steel hardware. You've got a blue pivot collar ring, dual barrel spacers, and a stainless steel right hand tip up only pocket clip. The internal pockets in the handle scales help to reduce the overall weight and the frame lock is smooth and reliable. And thanks to the beta plus lock, you can actually lock that frame lock in the open position and add to the reliability there. So this is a great lightweight budget friendly EDC from Rake Knives. We've also got the P865-B. Now this is another Warncliffe style, same 14C 28 in. And this one's got a bead blast finish on the blade as well. You've got a highly textured thumb stud here, G10 handle construction with full backspacer, stainless steel liners on the inside, stainless steel liner lock, and the same dual washer pivot. Very light and thin and nice and slender with 3D contour G10 for a good grip. You can see that here. There's two planes that meet up in the center. And then again, a right hand stainless steel pocket clip, this time deep carry. And coming soon, we have the Fox Knives Shadow designed by Bastinelli Knives. This is a massive Warncliffe style blade with a very martial blade concepts design aesthetic. You've got a nearly full height flat grind up to the dual fullers here. L-Max blade steel, so very similar to Buller's M390 with a little higher toughness on here. Stonewash finish, again with the dual fullers, you got a little bit of a swedge here at the top of the spine where it comes down. A nice generous thumb scoop here on the back. If I can get that to focus up for us here, you've got some fine jimping on the back. This is less for traction, although it does give some traction, but more for indexing the thumb on the blade and gives a very comfortable scoop here for putting pressure on the spine. And that lines up right with the center of the cutting edge there. You've also got a scoop back here and a very swoopy and scoopy handle design that is highly ergonomic and functional and provides a very secure grip with this index finger choil, the flipper doubling as a guard, and then this section back here really locking the knife handle into the palm of the hand here. So a very secure grip, highly utilitarian blade design, but also functional for defensive use as well. And as you can see, it's also very comfortable in a reverse grip. That choil making a perfect spot for the pinky and the curve of the handle here making a good anchor for the thumb. And we'll do a quick size comparison with the Paramilitary 2. The Bastinelli Shadow is just a little bit larger overall, longer in the blade and the handle. Blade thickness is actually going to be fairly similar little more robust out to the tip, but as you can see, it does taper pretty nicely. Width of the blade is gonna be a little bit wider overall. The functional grip area is about the same as the Paramilitary 2. Handle thickness is just a little bit thicker, not too much. And then just the overall footprint of both of these knives, you can see it's gonna be fairly close, a little bit wider out here on the shadow. But overall, the Shadow is a medium to large size tactical EDC, titanium frame lock with hardened steel lock face, right hand tip up only stainless steel pocket clip and lanyard hole. And then this one has a textured carbon fiber handle scale, nice contours on there for comfort. 
And then we also have a full titanium handle version with a black wash finish on both the handle and the blade. Again, this is Tyler with GP Knives and your week 30 weekly update. Thanks for watching and stay sharp. If you like what you've seen today and you'd like to see more, check out the rest of the videos on our YouTube channel. Like the video below and click the icon at the bottom right hand corner to subscribe to our YouTube channel feed for updates on all new videos.